Yeah, it's a light, it's a lighter concrete or some something. Ten years ago, Dean Lloyd, a lawyer in Palo Alto, California, received the world's first artificial retina. It allowed him to see. It was a low quality video image, but it was something. So I'm getting, looks like right about there, where it's some of the dirt or grass or whatever is in there, some kind of foliage. So you can, you some can kind tell of foliage. the difference between one surface and another that way. That's correct. It has to be a contrast point, and that's, you have to really think about that to make it useful. <laughs> but that technology is ancient compared to what's coming next. A new military grant program is funding projects that seek to not just read the information that's in your brain, but actually write information into it. Basically, we'd be putting synthetic versions of things like sight into the brain. The University of California at Berkeley is home to one of the six teams hoping to create within four years a device that can read and control one million neurons. Right now, we can only watch 100 at a time. Our goal is to be able to see that many neurons, every one of them individually, and not only to be able to watch what they do, as you do in MRI, but to be able to play back to them patterns of activity in space and in time so that you could actually reconstitute and synthesize the experience of the real world and thereby replace something that is missing because of an injury. This military-funded program could replace lost senses in wounded soldiers, but could also put entirely new senses into healthy soldiers. If it works, the project will be a world-changing leap. For example, while we were developing this proposal, we had a few meetings sort of saying, we can't do this, this is physically impossible, we'll never get there. Our goal is to take like a microscope, something like this, and squash it down really tiny so it can fit on the head of a mouse while it's running around. So this is one of our first prototypes. We're Grace Coe and Nick Antipa are working on math that can turn a low-grade 2D picture of the brain into useful 3D algorithms. imagery. So we can take like, raw footage like this um, and can process it into a live view of the room. We can create custom patterns and shoot light exactly where we want at the right moment. And, and postdoctoral researcher Nicolas Pegard is building the system that will convert real-world experiences into math that directs lasers to light up individual neurons. So here is a movie, Casablanca. This is the movie. This is what you have to turn that into for it to then be shown onto the brain in that exactly. pattern. Exactly. Wow. You decide on the pattern, you tell me which neurons you want to activate, and we will, at the exact time, give the exact amount of light that's required to activate the neurons. The project could rebuild soldiers or eventually give them enhanced abilities on the battlefield. Either way, if it works, we will have crossed into a new ethical and medical world, a world where we can read human thoughts and implant new ones. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, Berkeley, California.